This is Andy from the Rico Magic Forums, uh, back again, just following up on the last video we did um, where we showed the MK802 booting into Ubuntu Linux. Um, now quite a lot's been happening in the last week, um, there's been a lot of developers really pulling together, um, it's been great to see the community building for the MK802 and um, everyone's trying to get different versions of uh, Linux up and running on this device. Uh, so far it's been pretty successful, we've got um, Ubuntu, Zubuntu, um, Lubuntu and Fedora 17 all running on the MK802. So uh, big big kind of respect going out to everyone that's been working on this so far um, and making it a great little platform um, to kind of experiment with and also um, you know provide a really sort of cheap um, desktop environment you know this is this is where we're uh, kind of going with this um, it's it's a great little platform. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, where we are at the moment with the project um, how fast you know things kind of run um, you know whether the desktop is really usable for kind of day-to-day -day tasks. I mean, I think it personally is getting there. Um, there's you know quite a, quite a lot of, as I say, a lot of development, a lot of talk um, going on online. Um, currently, there's no um, hardware acceleration for the graphics, um, so this is uh, this is something that's um, you know making things a little bit slower um, than it than it should be on this uh, on this machine. So let's get this booted up, um, and we'll, we'll show you what um, what it's all about. Uh, basically, on this particular one, um, this particular bootable SD card, um, we're running um, Zubuntu um, with XFCE desktop. So it's quite a lightweight build um, on Linux. It it's, should should run fairly snappily on on anything, but uh, especially on this this device with its fairly um, modest hardware. Um, you know, it's uh, it's I think it's pretty I think it's pretty good. You know, you can see it's you can see it booting up there. It's booted up in about forty seconds. Um, something like that, straight from the SD card from cold. So if we just uh, get that logged in, um, we'll see what it's all about. So yeah, standard resolution 720p. Um, we've tried uh, tried different resolutions. I've tried um, you know 1080 1080p, and um, you know it's it, it's okay. It works. It, it works. Put it that way. It works. But um, as you'd expect, with no proper hardware acceleration uh, and everything else, drivers. All this sort of stuff, then um, you know it's not particularly not particularly fast. It slows slows it down a bit. I prefer 720p on this. Um, it's much more usable, um, more realistic for a, if you're going to use it, you know, in this sort of way on a notebook anyway. Um, right. One thing I will mention. Another thing that's just kind of recent, very recent news. Um, we've managed to actually kind of compile uh, a kernel um, for this device. It's I mean it, it's basically using uh, 3.0.8 plus. Um, kernel, which I think is a little bit quicker. It certainly boots a bit faster um, than the um, than the others. So now that that's kind of possible, I think the kernel development's going to start. So we should see in another week or so. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the um, the graphics performance um, up to speed. So now the computer's booted. You can see it there. It's all um, it's all connected up, all connected up to the Wi-Fi as well. Um, see the time there is just actually just you know clocked itself in. Um, as we mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, the, obviously the MK802 hasn't got an onboard clock, so um, it relies on time servers and the internet to set its time, um, which is you know, quite a modern way of doing it. Um, and it's always going to be up to date. So here we go. We've got the um, the basically the menu which shows you, uh, which, which gives you access to all the programs. Um, I'm going to start by what I'd start doing actually. I'll show you the file manager, um, which you know you can open up. Just double click on it in the normal way. Um, did I actually do that? <laughs> I'm confused whether I've actually done it or not. Um, so yeah, double click on it. You see that basically performance there. You know, not particularly quick. It's come up. Oh, I did it. I did it twice. That's probably why. Right. So now you know it's taken a little while to open that. A few seconds. But now when you go back into it, interestingly enough, you know it'll open very quickly. Um, so once it's sort of resident in memory, I suppose you know things have, certain things have loaded, so it's actually um, you know brought, brought the speed up. So that's actually pretty pretty quick there once that's going. Um, now what we're going to do now is just show you sort of web browsing. Um, I'm using Chromium browser, um, which you can get via the um, via the Ubuntu store. You know that's uh, I think it's probably the best browser really for this um, this sort of machine. Firefox does work, but it's not quite as quick. So I'm preferring um, Chromium browser at the moment. So if we just, uh, you know, go into the usual thing you'd be doing, which is, you know, type in a, uh, type in a Google search straight up there. Um, you can see 
fairly quick, fairly snappy. Things seem to be working pretty well. Um, you know, click on there, open to the open up one of the forums, uh, one of the forum pages there. You can scroll up and down. You know, you've got quite a quite a couple of fairly you know large images on that page, and um, you know we're scrolling up and down with the up and down keys. Um, the laptop hasn't actually, unfortunately, got the um, you know a kind of scroll facility, so you have to use the up and down keys. It's not the end of the world, but um, you know that's that's basically where it is, uh, and it works pretty well. You know, um, you can see it's just you know nice and quick scrolling. Now I've had about ten um, browser tabs open um, in the last you know day or so. I've been kind of just trying to use this as a computer, just day to day computer, doing all the stuff I do. Normally I have 10 browser windows, um, 10 browser tabs open um, and processing orders, doing loads of different things. So it, it's, um, it, it makes sense to have that. So you can have you know multiple things, pretty intensive um, pages. And Chromium seems to handle this really well on this, um, this platform. So um, what I'll show you now is just go into um, YouTube. Now I'll set a bookmark actually up on this one. Um, and I'll show you what basically video is like without any sort of hardware decode. Now, don't expect any miracles um, because this has been different every time I've tried it. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, but basically, there you go. Funnily enough, this um, Chrome browser actually plays back YouTube videos. Um, you know, I think it, without Flash, so I think it does it via um, HTML5 or something like this. Uh, but uh, there you go. Well, the video it started to play, and then um, it's kind of stopped there. But uh, we'll see what see what happens. Maybe it's going to continue to continue to load. As I say, I've had this. You know, we, we've had it actually running. Um, there you go. So you know, it it does work, but you know, it's um, it's it's fairly it's fairly slow. I think with this particular version of the kernel, it's a bit quicker than the previous one, um, but. Um, you know, it's it, it's not really it's not really watchable unless you like watching um, it in about ten frames a second or something. Um, sound as well on this particular build, um, this particular image doesn't want to work. Um, I'm, I haven't really played around with it that much um, to get it running, but I think it's something to do with pulse audio. Um, you know, the Alsa drivers are all there, everything seems okay, but. Um, we're just kind of messing around with that to try and get that work. It's not a big problem, but um, that'll that'll be fixed um, soon enough. So yeah, really the big thing is just trying to get the um, get the video sort of decode um, up to speed. But to be honest, you know, it's pretty impressive without any um, any graphics acceleration. Right. So let's stop that. Come out of this um, and it closes. All right. Apologies for the cut in the video. The iPhone ran out of uh, storage space, so um, I had to split the video. Um, what I was going to go back to is the um, Chrome browser um, to show one of the Chrome apps. Now the Chrome apps are actually pretty cool. Um, if anyone's not had a chance to have a look through that Chrome store um, or even uses Chrome yet, then I'd advise to have a look on there because it's actually pretty good. Um, some of the apps, like the, wiz um, the widgets basically, things like that, like things to access your email, um, all stuff that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, check the weather, loads of stuff like that. They're pretty, pretty smart. Um, and they all run on this platform. So they'll run on the Chromium browser um, with the uh, MK802. So it's pretty impressive stuff. Um, you can get access to all the latest things. And, um, you know, most of them, I think pretty much all of them are free. Um, so it's really good. So I, I was testing out um, Cut the Rope, <laughs> which I'm actually useless at. But, um, yeah, I was uh, messing around with this earlier. And, uh, you know, just to sort of see what the graphics performance would like or if, if it would even run. Um, because you know we haven't got flash or we haven't got accelerated um, graphics or anything like this on this platform yet, so um, it was an interesting experiment. And actually, you know, it works. It comes up. Um, I did get an uh, an error saying the computer's you know running very slowly, so um, the game might not play that well, which is quite interesting. Um, and I got that before I changed the kernel. Now notice this time around, I don't think. I've had a play with this just before the video, and it didn't do it then. Um, it didn't come up with that um, that error. So maybe something's something's changed there. So you know we're into it. It's kind of running. Um, you know now we'll see here. You'll see basically what I mean by it's um, you know it being a little bit a little bit slow. You can see it kind of just chopping 
chopping away there. Um, so we'll just try and play the game if we can. I think we have might have missed the boat on that. So you can see it's basically, um, you know, it's not quick. Some, it varies from time to time. I think generally, you know, the operating system is doing some stuff in the background and uh, sometimes it's quicker than that, sometimes sometimes not. I've tried it a few times. Um, but yeah, I mean, back, this is just showing what this machine really can't do at the moment, which, um, you know, is anything anything kind of graphically um, heavy or remotely heavy. Now, you know, as we know, on under Android, this thing rocks. You know, it will, it will, um, it will play... All, all your favourite games, uh, everything, everything's very, very smooth. So there is absolutely no reason why this will not work with some uh, some software intervention, which we're working on. So we'll we'll carry on with that, and um, hopefully we'll have this up and running. But I'm I'm really excited to see where this sort of project can end up, um, because you know it's it's really going to mean that we can have you know very sort of low cost computing that's actually quite quite reliable stable um and um you know it's just completely usable um it can be run on a you know run on a tv run on a, any size screen you know the the um the functions of this the features of this are going to be quite quite um, impressive um one other thing someone mentioned on the forums about um sd cards and you know read and write speed not being very quick now totally agree with that I think one of the reasons for um, maybe things not being so snappy in the general sort of desktop environment, you know, for example, just open up your file browser, which, you know, in that case actually opens up quite quick. But, um, you yeah, know, one of the reasons for that being um, maybe slower than it could be is um, because we're running off an SD card and, you know, speed the speed of those things is not as quick as, um, you know, a real hard drive or a solid state hard drive or even, you know, flash NAND. So, you know, once we get, once we start experimenting with different ways of uh, speeding that up, um, you know, I only just kind of touched on on uh, that subject, um, and it's very interesting um, to sort of, you know, explore how we can get sort of quicker response out of um, an SD card, um, or maybe install this operating system actually directly on the, the NAND inside the unit. Anyway, um, we'll carry on with the progress, and uh, hopefully we'll sort of have another video soon to. Um, show accelerated graphics but uh, not sure how long that's going to take um, but anyway uh, come over to the forums um, and follow the progress of um, of the project join in at so recomagic.co.uk uh, forward slash forum and um, it'd be great to see you over there uh, and discuss this, this sort of call up and coming product brilliant stuff we'll catch you again